welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Joyce now is Diana Friend with Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library and Harpist Rob Banks. Good morning. Good morning. I'm very excited. We have we've been talking about the music for a Sunday afternoon. It has been going on for a little bit now. 45 years. Yes, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yes. 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 And how, um, what's the re response been lately, like this summer with you guys? Oh, we have had such a fabulous summer. Um, our, we started out with a big concert for the kids and we ended it with a big concert for the kids. So they got exposed to bluegrass, little pop and all of that. But the library has always been known for having their concerts. Uh, music for a Sunday afternoon uh, wasn't called that back in the beginning, but, <laughs> <laughs> but that's what uh, the Ladies Library Association wanted to have happen. And so the library, the original library, that's the reason they had a theater um, that displayed art and people came in for concerts. And we have continued that. And it's not just chamber music. Mm -hmm. This year we've had uh, um, the big brass band along yeah. with hip hop. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was so nice to see all of the generations there that everybody was, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm embarrassing my children right now, but you know. <laughs> but no, music, you will find that happening. Kyler Carpenter mm -hmm. is a staple uh, in the kids' library and the story times. And uh, so we're very, very excited to have Rob uh, come back and I have to say come back because he uh, was a co-leader of our library for uh, a couple decades. And uh, in his retirement, he is now displaying his performance yes. uh, talents. Yes, Rob, tell us a little bit about what you have planned for Sunday. Well, I've gone through uh, a database, librarians love databases, and the American Harp Society has one of thousands of pieces of harp music. and. What I went through and selected some songs from operas, arias they're called, um, that the harpists that played in the pit in the opera houses, so like La Scala and the Met in New York and Berlin and Paris and all those wonderful places, they played the operas when they were premiered and their performances, but then they would go out on tour as solo harpists, and so they wanted to play some of those same mm -hmm. melodies that they knew. And of course, this is from the 1800s when we didn't have recorded sound, so the only way to hear people do this was just to go to their concerts. Yeah. So they took some of those songs that they knew and arranged them into solo harp pieces, and I've gone through and selected several for, for this program. That's um, amazing, I love that. Yeah, and hopefully there'll be some familiar mm -hmm. melodies. Um, not a lot of people are really familiar with opera as, mm -hmm. you know, they can yeah, as do a whole, the, yeah. It's not like sports statistics yeah. or something. I, I, you know, I know Phantom of the that. Opera, I, I know <laughs> yeah. a couple of them here and there. Exactly, but I think there's a couple that I'm gonna play. One of them that I finish with is the intermezzo from Cavalleria Rusticana, uh, which probably doesn't mean anything to anybody, but it's a melody that's been used in commercials and mm -hmm. on movies, and you've probably heard it in the elevator a thousand times. <laughs> so you'll probably go, oh, I know that. Mm -hmm. I, I love <laughs> but, those moments as yeah. well. It's like, wait, I, I knew this song. Yeah. This was in something. Oh, yeah. I know a exactly. little bit more history now. Exactly. I'm glad I came to the library. Right. <laughs> so, it, and I do uh, some explanation about the operas and the arrangers and those kinds of things as, before each piece so that you get a little bit of context mm -hmm. about what's going on with it. That's, but I, I picked ones that I think are particularly beautiful yeah. melodies. Lots of love songs, some of it requited, some of it unrequited, <laughs> as, as it goes. And there's a little bit of murder and mayhem in some Ooh. of the operas as well, because, you know, no good operas out there without somebody dying of somewhere. Of course, you gotta so, have a little bit of drama know, going yeah. on. Uh, so it, it, it's got a little bit of everything in it, but I think they're really beautiful melodies and hope people will enjoy those. Oh, this, it sounds like it's gonna be such a wonderful show. Uh, remind us what time the concerts are on Sunday. Uh, at three o'clock. And they usually go till 4.30 or 5, depending. One of the nice things about the performers is that they're, they don't rush off. You can ask questions. And uh, we actually have a, another program in September that Rob's a part of. Uh, it, it's called Harpist for Peace. And it's an ensemble of harpists. Mm -hmm. uh, but the big thing is it's the educational part that comes along with it. And that they held that last year. and. Uh, the public said, oh, please bring them back again. So uh, they were willing. And uh, so in September 23rd, but this Sunday, come and enjoy 
uh, Rob's performance. Uh, it is one of those things that makes the hair stand up on your arm. And uh, uh, it's a great way to spend a Sunday afternoon. Wonderful. It, it sounds like, yeah, definitely going to be the place to be on Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, Rob, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Diana, thank you as well. It's been so great chatting with you guys. I'm very thank excited you. for your concert and your thank performance you. piece. And everyone, please, to get a full list of events going on at the library, head on over to tscpl.org.